Hi, in this bite-sized tutorial on how to use Vertex AI for machine learning, we'll learn how to train a model. In the previous video, we created a Vertex AI dataset. Now we'll use that dataset to train a model. There are two pathways to train a model on Vertex AI, an AutoML training job or a custom model training. In this tutorial, we'll see how we can train an AutoML model on Vertex AI. When you use AutoML, all you need to do is point the training job at a dataset. AutoML can choose the model architecture, features, and hyperparameters that maximizes the performance on the dataset. First, make sure you have selected the project and type Vertex AI in the search bar in order to query the service. Click Training in the side panel and select Create. In the window, make sure you have selected the dataset we created earlier. And the model training method is set to AutoML. Click Continue. Give your model a name and optionally a description. In the advanced options, you can select how training, validation, and test split should be done. We'll select manual as we have predefined what the splits are using the ML underscore use tag. With this option, Vertex AI will use the provided split than a random split. It is usually a better practice to do the data split manually than letting AutoML decide. When you do the data split, it is deterministic and always compare fairly across different models and versions. This way, you also get the flexibility and control over the composition of your data set, and you can make decisions about stratification and data balancing. These are important when generating a healthy, well-generalized model. Now click Start Training. This is also a long-running operation, or LRO in GCP jargon. This will take around four hours to complete, and you'll get an email once the training finishes. One thing to be aware of when working with Vertex AI are quota limits. I'm currently in a free tier account here, you can see a limit on the number of concurrent ML jobs per region, which is one. This means I can only run one training job at a time. Another important limit to be aware of is the number of CPUs allowed for a custom training job. You can see that it's also one. This means you cannot run a custom training job, as there are no instances with one CPU. If you want these changed, you need to request a quota increase. But in order for GCP to grant you the quota increase, you'd need some billing history. Once the model is trained, it provides an evaluation done on the test data for you to assess the model. We can see the precision recall curve, individual precision recall values at the threshold of 0.5 you see that the model is automatically tuned to have the maximum precision and recall at 0.5. You also have the confusion metrics available. You can access the dataset that is used to train the model from here. If you go to the model registry, you'll see the trained model there. A model in Vertex AI can have multiple versions. When your model doesn't have a previous version, the default alias is automatically assigned and the model is given a version 1. If you remember, when we trained the model, we had the option to either train a new model or a version in an existing model. You can access everything we discussed earlier from the model registry as well. That's it for model training. In the next video, 
we'll learn how to create an endpoint and deploy this model so that the users can make requests against the model.